Hello friends, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how I generally approach digital illustrations in Photoshop. I start out by drawing a few thumbnail sketches, which I've already done here, and then I'll choose the one that I'm currently most interested in. I scale up that drawing that I choose, lower the opacity, and then start drawing on a new layer for the second sketch. For those of you interested in hardware, I'm currently running the latest versions of Adobe Creative Cloud, and my setup consists of a Wacom Cintiq, whatever model that's now five years old, and an iMac that's about six years old at this time. There are many other models of tablets and drawing screens and things out there that are just as good, and I've had many different models over the years, but this is just what I prefer currently. Depending on the illustration, I'll redraw something two, three times, maybe more, just so I'm happy with it. I lower the opacity of each previous sketch, create a new layer on top, and draw it more refined each time. Now for flats. I create a layer for each item that I want to color separately. This would be her sweater, jeans, shoes, etc. I will fill in the shape with a random contrasting color, but that totally gets changed later and I don't worry about it at this stage. I do this so it's really easy for me to edit each item individually.
So this drawing looks a bit crazy at this stage, but now I've chosen a color palette, which you can see on the upper left, and I will fill in the base color of each item. To do this, I press the little square icon on the layers palette, which is to lock transparent pixels. This means that only areas that I've already drawn will be affected, and you can see here that I can go in with a large brush really quickly and change the color to whatever I desire. Flats are complete, it's time for the fun part, which is shading and details. It was really fun to recreate the striped sweater from my reference image. And since the layers are locked, like we discussed earlier, you can see that the stripes don't go outside the areas that I don't want them to.
wanted to create a simple, playful hint of a background for this drawing to go with the bright colors. I just played with shapes and placement till it felt right. And here is the final illustration. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more Friday art videos. Thanks for watching. Get out there and make something.